Hello, you guys. Hello, hello. I'm back at it. I'm back in this culinary. Be fit for you culinary lab. I got a, a new technique. It's not new to probably some of y'all, but it's new to me. And it gives me a better idea how to cover when I'm doing live. So uh, my friend Chastity mentioned it. And I'm like, you know what? That would cut down. Hey, that would cut down on some of my on my prep time and everything. So what I'm making today, and you probably made this million times before if you have an air fryer, I'm making um, some air fried chicken thighs. Now, I can eat any part of the chicken, believe you me, but I guess my favorite parts would probably be the wing and the thighs. I don't know why, just my preference. So I've got my chicken clean here. I got two chicken thighs. I actually cooked four all together, but honey, the new technique is I already prepared some, so y'all won't have to wait for this to cook, but I'm going to show y'all what I do, how I prepare it. Now, one thing when I was uh, looking to buy or get a air fryer, I did a lot of research, watched a lot of YouTube videos, because honey, I was like, if I pay money for this, I want to make sure that I can get the most out, get the most bang for my buck, Okay. Lord bless me, I had got, I received my air fryer for my birthday and a retirement gift, so ha, I didn't even have to spend no money, but the research still came in handy. Research showed me that if you do not coat your meat that you're cooking in the air fryer, you will be eating something that's similar to a potato chip. It will be crunchy, but it will not have any flavor. I don't care how much seasoning you use on it. Or because it's going to dry out, take all of the juiciness out. So I either usually base it with a vegetable oil or olive oil. So today I'm using my vegetable oil. You don't need a lot. It doesn't have to swim in it. Just a little drizzle. Just want to make sure that it gets coated. I already went ahead. I have a few seasons here that I'm going to be using. That You can use any type of seasoning you like when you make your air fried chicken. I use, I have air fried pork chops. I have air fried honey ribs. I'm telling you, I, I didn't became like the, <laughs> the guru, the fried, air fried guru over here. That's what the research was about. I want to make, you know, deliciousness. So I just, you know, find out different recipes, become a copycat. I don't mind being a copycat. When it comes to eating deliciousness. What are y'all making tonight? Put just a little more on here. Just a tad. Like I say, it does not have, it don't need to swim. Your meat that you have does not need to swim any. You don't want to see it standing in your bowl. <laughs> you gotta start eating. Alrighty. Okay, so see there, you guys, there's no extra liquid or oil. There's uh, olive oil in my bowl. It's all adhered to the chicken. Like I say, it does not need to swim. Now, what I do when I am seasoning, I usually just combine everything and I put it in a little mixture. But what I use, and like I say, you can use any seasoning that you like. I'm always going to use paprika because I love the color that it gives the meat once it's cooked. I also use the Touch This Montreal Chicken by McCormick. I'm a mixologist. You have to know how to mix and how much of each thing that you mix. I have been mixing with these for quite some time now, so I know it's like a little tad of this, a little, you know, pinch of that. And I, of course, y'all know I'm so... I gotta have Slappy Mama because it gives a little kick to it, just a little ugh. And then I got my garlic jalapeno by Weber, Weber. And I have my onion powder. And a little, a little, you know, pinch of black pepper. So I combine it all and put it off in here in my little bowl and stir it up together. I need my glove because, honey, I'm gonna have to get I'm gonna have to get in with it in a few minutes to show y'all how to really put that season on. So, what I do is I just take my little mixture, glue these aside, and I just 
and sprinkle it. And you want to make sure you eyeball and make sure this is how you're going to learn how to eyeball. Whatever's in your bowl, whatever's, it, whatever's in your pan, you want to make sure that the meat that you have or if it's a vegetable, you want to make sure it's covered. Not smothered, just covered. That way you know that it'll be evenly seasoned and each bite that you have will be seasoned and it will taste wonderful. Yep. See, I've been doing, I've been eyeballing things so for so many years. Look, made just enough. No waste. Her spices is too much to be wasted. <laughs> it is. It's too much to just let your spices go to waste. I wouldn't have wasted. I would have just put it up because I'm sure I'm always making this because it's so easy to make. So I would have just put it aside in a little snack bag because I make fried air, I make air fried chicken quite a lot. It's, it's quick, it's easy to get on in there. So now, since I got all my seasoning on here, I just go in here and normally I would have let this marinate. That's when it's really good. But I was coming home and I was like, you know what, Pam, you took that chicken out this morning. And I was like, I could do a live. I've done one before, but I wanted to do this one because this makes sense. It's to go ahead, show you guys how I do it. And I already got some prepared so y'all get to see me just go ahead and eat it. But that's pretty much it when it comes to seasoning. Make sure your chicken is clean. I usually, once I get it from the grocery store, because I buy usually a little, a little plat, a little family thing of it, and I break it down usually put it in fours that way i can have dinner and i can have lunch now like i said i use paprika because i love the color that it gives when it actually even though i had it in the mixture i still want to put just a tad bit on it now i already have my pan already hot because I already had some come out but I want to let you guys know you also need to spray I have the power XL that has trays but before I put it in I spray my my tray my little vent pan that also helps it also helps making the chicken crispy I'm gonna put these in uh, when I put them in I always place them with skin down first I'm going to take y'all over so y'all can see. We're not going to stay for the whole cooking. Because, honey, I told y'all I got the delicious I already made. Thank you, Chad, for, for giving me this idea. I was like, yeah, that makes sense. Honey, I'm new at this, but I'm true to it, okay? <laughs> new and true. Okay, so try to get y'all into my air fryer so y'all can see. So I already have some stuff going on in there. So this pan is already good and grease, so I don't have to air fry it. Now, you're going to cook this at 380 degrees for a total of 25 minutes. What I normally do is do 12 and, 12 and 13 because you want to flip it in between. You don't want to let it cook all 25 minutes on one side. You want to alternate at some point. So I usually just set it for the 13, 12 minutes, then flip it. Because, honey, sometimes I'll forget where I was. And so I just time it for each side. That way I'll know not to let it over, let it cook, overcook. So let me show y'all what I did. I'm not going to set it. I'm going to go back to that. But I'm going to go ahead and let y'all see. What I already prepared, honey. Let me just clean my little space. Give me, give me just a couple minutes here. Y'all know I gotta work in a clean space. Y'all know I gotta work in a clean space. So will y'all be making this your trying this way? I wanna wanna nuke that for a minute, honey. We, I'm gonna have a whole like little Sunday meal here on a Thursday. <laughs> Plan. I'm telling you, I'll be quick. I'll be and have my little meal. Boom. Be done. 
getting ready for work tomorrow. Fly, yay. Okay, so I'm going to show y'all what it looked like when it came out the oven. Uh, I mean, out the air fryer. Bam! And I set it on here because I wanted to keep, I wanted to stay crispy. You don't want to set it on, you don't want to set it on paper towels. You don't want to set it on in a pan because it'll get soggy. I wanted it to stay so you can hear that crunch. Yes, Lord. I am pairing it with some, some uh, charro beans. And... Y'all know I like Cracker Barrel, so I got me a good old muffin from Cracker Barrel, honey. When they put it over there, I'm going to cut it in half. Got a little pat of butter. Mmm. -hmm. We're going to put that to the side. And I'm going to go in for this one right here. Y'all see how good that look? Do y'all see? Let y'all get in there to see that chicken again. Ah! Smell good, I promise you. Yes. All right. Bam! Sunday meal, right here on a Thursday. These are charro beans made by H-E-B, honey. I put a little love in them, a little chili powder, made them my own. Honey, I be Rachel Ray it over here. Got that Cracker Barrel cornbread, show sure enough. <laughs> show sure enough. All right, you guys, I'm going to cut into it, honey. Y'all know I got to have some Louisiana hot sauce. But before I do that, let me pray because I don't want to be, you know, Full of conviction because it, it smells so good. My mouth is watering. Jesus' name I pray. I thank those that are here on the live, those who come back on the replay. I ask, Lord, that you let this food service nourishment to my body. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. All right, y'all. Ain't nothing to it but to do it. Got a piece of chicken. Yes, Lord. Mm, mm, mm. And if this is your first time coming through, watching Be Fit For You, and you're wondering why, why is this woman eating this with a knife and a fork? Because I got braces, and the way my braces are set up, I can't risk it. <laughs> Even though I want to pick this piece of chicken up, believe you me. I want to be gangster about it, but I can't. And they just changed my wires yesterday and put on new bands. Babe, this is so good. Look at that skin. Anybody else like chicken skin, boy? This is crunchy. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, 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 mmm. I won't. <laughs> I ain't gonna forget. I ain't gonna forget. I'm gonna need my lunch tomorrow. But all right, you guys. So I have Rachel rated. I have cut down my time. Y'all got to see it. I already prepared. Seeing how to put it together. Loving this way. I'm gonna be doing the rest of my lives like this. I had to think outside the box. I'm so glad you helped me with that. Like I said, I'm new at this, but I'm very much true to it. Uh, sometime next week, I was going to plan on trying to do that salmon one, the salmon recipe that I have posted on Be Fit For You, Let's Cook, but I have, uh, I had a death in the family, so I'll be attending a funeral this weekend, so I won't have any lives this weekend, not that I know of, but y'all know me, I come on, I have impromptu lives, this is how, if I have a taste of something, so you might see me on Sunday, I have no idea, it just depends on how my taste buds are and what somebody has sent me. And if it's something quick that I can make for you guys. Before I go, I want to continue to thank y'all for y'all love and y'all support. Thank y'all for taking the time out to come on and join me. 
Also, continue to share, continue to like, continue to follow with your friends, your family, your co-workers, and your neighbors too. You know, they need this deliciousness. And honey, did I not lay it down today on a Thursday? But before I go, just so y'all know, try my beans, honey. I'll be putting hot sauce in these too. I'm just a hot sauce. Thank you. Miss my mouth. That's all right. Baby. If, you, if I would have told you that um, H-E-B had made these and I spiked them up, <laughs> you'd have thought I made them from right here. But I don't have time for all that now. I know how to make red beans, but it just wasn't going to be today. <laughs> all right, you guys. Thank y'all for watching. So glad y'all came in to support me, whether it's here on the live or the replay. Y'all have a good evening. See y'all later. Love y'all.